Hey guys, this is your girl Ayana the One, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to adjust the camera. But we're gonna get into this reading. We're gonna do Aries love reading. Um, we're gonna also do like um, I do have a channel message. Like some of the Aries, and you know who you are. You like a little toxicity. I think you've been in around or date around toxic men or toxic women. And I feel like you're starting to act like the person that you dated for some. Now, this is your girl, Ayana the One. And I'm going to keep it real. And I'm going to keep it cool. Okay. A lot of y'all have been having bad dating and I feel like your angels are trying to tell you to work on yourself and you could tell if your self-love is low because it's like you don't believe in the miracles you don't believe that God could do miracles I was on live talking about that today how you know a lot of Christians we came together talking about believing in miracles and seeing God did things like that we thought was impossible like let's say you register for school and then you didn't know if you was going to get in or um, a guy got you in or you did financial aid, you applied, but you didn't know you got to prove it. You got to prove or you want to do uh, real estate, but you emailed a company. You told them you want a username. Three months later, they send you a username, password, or it could be even something crazy where something found you or an unexpected check in the mail. Everybody has their testimonies, okay, of Lord Jesus Christ doing something amazing, okay? I'm going to always give that man credit, child. Because um, Aries, you have somebody that's fake busy, and I feel like you intuitively know that. Like someone that be like, as soon as they pick up the phone, like, I'm at work. And they really not at work, they're at home. <laughs> Okay. These are your love messages for 2024 for this month of March. Even though it's going to be out in the month of February. I'm trying to be ahead. I got she a runner, she a track star. Yeah. Somebody's like running off. I ran off on the plug twice. And it's really like they not showing their face. Like, be careful with somebody you got around that's always like looking around like they got somebody they got to look out for. Because those people end up probably doing, they did something from some, they did something to someone. Or um, they probably have a stalker, you know. Be careful with somebody trying to trap you with a baby, Aries women and men. I feel like you used to deal with a Pisces that was giving you like some type of illusion, some type of happy ending. It could have been an Aries with an Aries. You feel me? Secluded, soul searching. Like you're separating, you're reflecting. Some of y'all feel ashamed and guilty because someone told you that, you know, this person's not going to buy you a car. This person's not going to do this. And you feel shattered because, you know, you really like this person or you. I feel like it's not going to work when, um,. When a person see they have control of your emotion, you being sad and they hurt you, some people think that it will drag the person right back and it really don't. It just makes them feel like they could sweet talk you again because they feel like you don't know your work, your self work. Some of y'all, this card been coming out in a collective like, um, and, and you know, I feel like someone's unsure of what they like. You know, you could be bisexual. It's, it's, it says a lot. You know, or you could have a girlfriend that likes dating girls too. Um, yeah, like I said, self love. Self love. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck Divine Feminine. I feel like you are in this power to know about yourself. Like, what do a divine feminine carry? Confidence. Like, you know, 444, you're divinely protected. I feel like the thing is, somebody don't like to listen. Oh, my God, because I'm getting, like, signs. You're seeing clarity. 
dreams, intuition, that someone don't like to listen. You have a fresh start, like new car, moving, moving in with someone that you could trust as a best friend, leaving a toxic relationship. I feel like, let me see. Someone needs to do some Reiki healing, aligning their chakras, like meditating that daily. Somebody could also like to wrap their head. Um, some of y'all was under pressure because it's like money is... Damn. Damn. Okay, card. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. We're going to fix it. Yeah, under pressure, decision time right now. Because whoever backstabbed you, a uh, person that you had to leave, p cheated, deceptive mind games. It's like they was only in it for what they could get out of you. Like, love bomber. And it's like, some of y'all know, like, as soon as they got what they wanted, they switched up. Somebody has a side hustle that will be your main hustle that you need to start doing. Whether it's posting more content on TikTok. Um, somebody has to make sure... If you are facing unemployment, that you should apply to unemployment. Get on, like, your taxes should be used to fix your credit. Use some of your taxes to make more money. I feel like this fresh start is going, you could be seeing a 7-Eleven. That's like a new beginning. Um, 3 two, one is also evolving. Your angels are guiding you, like, away from somebody. If you keep seeing 3-3-3, like, you know, maybe this person is good, but get to know them slowly, but don't prioritize your whole being about that like i have so many aries friends even some of my mom friends are aries and she did one mistake where she trusted this person and i think she wanted someone to take care of because she got tired like you know being the the head of the household as a woman and when she trusted this person she realized she put her kids and her in a bad situation where it was like this person don't like disciplining their kids and don't like being a parent like she's seen how she's involved where like you really get to know somebody and it shouldn't be like that because it's like i i was telling her some advice and she listened and like even though i'm young some people even my one of my favorite subscribers love she'll tell me like you went through a lot and sometimes it does be like that like where i'm gonna have someone older that gives me advice or sometimes i have someone younger that gives me advice and it should be no shame because you never know God is using that person to tell you, hey, I'm not sad that you wanted someone to provide, but you picked the wrong person. Don't go for potential. You think when you go to the dealership, they looking for the potential that you're going to pay. They're just going to give you the car. They're not going to do no credit. They're not going to do no background check. They're not going to ask for your name, your number, your social. Y'all need to ask detailed questions. Like sometimes it's crazy. But only if I get lucky when I was on a date and the person leave their wallet, I'm just taking a picture of their ID because I don't know who is this person. If they have a background, I'm going to look up if you have a criminal background. Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Especially if you spend over their they house. And I'm not talking about like you doing a sleepover and you getting some. I'm talking about you come over to their crib. They probably in the kitchen cooking. You pass by their room. You see that ID. Now, sometimes they be they be hiding it, but like, you know, sometimes I even ask, like, hey, can I see your ID? Snip, send it to my people. Like, even my dad, and even though they're not together, he is a sheriff. I will send the ID to him. He do not play. He still treat us like we as kids, and he don't play. And, uh, yeah, some of y'all have siblings that y'all share the, um, y'all location, but you're going to have a true uh, discovery of awakening. I feel like your third eye is opening where, you know, I don't know. I was just telling her to another. It's like, you know, sometimes because bro, when I say I got a lot of Aries friends, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> I love y'all. I love y'all. It's just sometimes just how you don't like bull crap or putting up with a friend that is going through the same cycle. I don't be liking when some people don't take their own advice. Like, I could see that you don't like that person, and then you doing the same exact thing. And then I'd be looking at you like, we two Barneys just looking at each other. Yeah, feel me? All righty. What's the truth in discovery and awakening? Yeah, but be, be, watch how someone put something on. Because, like, sometimes 
a person should know how to open it. Sometimes people might do that thing where let's just act like this is a wand. And the person put it on, but then they take it off and put, and they, they take it off, they put it on, and they put it, like, they don't know. Be careful, because sometimes, if you know, you know, okay? Make sure you and your person get tested. Make sure your person, honestly, at, in this stage, I think everybody is, like, there are some people that you least expected that will be doing some magic on you that do magic, okay? Just, especially sex magic. Be careful. Don't be, you know, especially when someone's trying to go so deep that they, you know, they're trying to, one of my friends, she do tarot, Lilo never lies. I just said her name, Lilo. They could bind you. And don't ever do it with, on your period. Don't do that. Especially if you're trying to keep a man. Don't do that. Don't do that. But she was like explaining to somebody. Like someone was trying to get here. And it might hurt or it may not. But, you know, and then you take the plan B. You good. That person could be trying to bind you. Like, because they like how you make them feel. I'm just saying. Just be careful, okay? Because this person is trying to get you pregnant. Okay? It says positive. Okay? Some of y'all, it might be false news. Some of y'all, the person might ask you for a DNA test. Some of y'all might be pregnant, okay, with a karma baby, okay? And this person would want you to keep it a secret, too. Child, some of y'all, y'all left, y'all had to leave a situation. I'm going to put it right here by backstab. Somebody try to keep you as a secret, and they're getting karma. Now, y'all think, like, I always have friends that be telling me, like, oh, you know, they got pregnant by, like, this person was supposed to teach them a lesson. They got pregnant by the karmic. You feel me? And they'll kind of make fun of the person that, you know, that that's, like, having babies with, like, listen. Babies are a blessing. I'm not going to make fun. Like, you could have been in love with this person heavy on a fresh start. This is, like, the third time. Some of y'all been seeing 333 because you're getting that new car. You're getting that new place. But... I just think I tell people to be careful because sometimes once you get a baby, a person will try to pick and choose because they, they're used to love bombing you and bullying you and telling you how things are going to go. So when they see you speaking up for yourself and how you're going to be, they look at you like this is a joke. Like I'm used to you being my puppet. Somebody needs to be careful, okay? Okay. Some of y'all have somebody that is apologizing, giving you roses because they gave you a gift for Valentine's Day. Uh, some of y'all didn't get nothing for Valentine's Day, but some of y'all are going through spiritual warfare, okay? Anything else? Somebody could be also watching you from a secret account, and you're living in the moment. Some of y'all are facing depression, depression, and I feel like you need to go get some sunlight, cut some grass, and manage your money. This is the year to manage your money, because you're not going to be happy if you don't manage your money. Um, I still got some time. I'm going to pull some index what's going on for aries love life now for the ones that are in a healthy relationship this is for you for the ones that's dealing with a twin flame this is for you take what resonates for some but i feel like most of it is like self-love and basically people just getting out of a situation ship you know some of y'all need to be careful of energy vampires I put that on my mama. You can't touch my bag. Yeah, that seemed like for some of the positive areas. Like, y'all getting y'all... Somebody has a moderate spirit that wants to know what's going on in your life. Okay? I don't want to be alone. You can have Pisces placements. Check your Pisces placement. Because there is a placement in the native chart that explain your love life. I forgot what it's called. But I know it's there because I screenshot mine. Um, I don't know if mine's is Sagittarius. I forgot. Okay? But check that, that area. Because, like... Man, because mine was like talking about how just for like how I like to be loving and be thoughtful and giving. Yeah, I don't want to be alone, desperado. Don't be desperate, man. You attract money, always come to you. Someone wants your money. I can't lose. I did a reading for somebody and I was telling them and they don't really believe. And it's always like that. And then when I tell them and it happens, it'd be like, dude, I was trying to tell you this. Just like I try to tell him whoever the Pisces he was dating like that sometimes y'all gotta take it just because you if you paying for somebody to do a reading 
you can't just be biased and think that they're telling you nobody wants you to go through something unless you just want to you feel me somebody could got told by a cancer you're going to be rich you're going to be in a double rr uh someone want to put you you don't care what people think that might be your downfall if you don't care what people think make sure you you know lotion up cooking the oil will protect you from negative energy and negative attacks someone really want to take you you mentally out or take you take your money that's what it says you're so divine but it's just like someone has a lack of boundaries a divine feminine um divine masculine let's see what this one is you need respect loyalty and an attentive partner but you need to set that in the beginning you don't need to show someone someone needs to get the book living and now i think that will help you attract more i surrender the desire and title it happens it happens if it don't it don't okay so basically somebody's like if it happens to happen you're on your zoom y'all putting out that content you're putting out that shirt that clothing line because somebody's like after they break up with someone they get in another relationship and i think your angels want you to stay to yourself someone has sneaky link if you tell if y'all effing around they block that's only for a few somebody is waiting impatiently for their blessing all minds you come if i don't do too much like somebody say that someone has an ex that thinks if they don't do too much that you they'll come around if you don't if they, if they don't do if they don't do too much they don't like that i'm telling you that because i feel like me saying that they it's gonna stop you from coming around them <sighs> unbreak the broken pull me out this train wreck unsay them spoken words those are um like someone's like really getting out of a blue depression a sad time in their life your silence is deadly like you really not talking she can get whatever she want hiding pregnancy from the family like some of y'all are pregnant some of y'all got some family members y'all don't want to know because you don't want that negative energy being sent to you i read it spoil my friends with my riches the lie ain't adding up if you needed confirmation you feel like someone was lying they are okay 7 11 i just seen that it was 17 11 that's still saying hard for the next to spoil some of y'all gonna have a virgo that's gonna really show you that or sagittarius um yeah, because I'm tired of fighting. Come from um, little baby song, Emotionally Scarred. You're not just anybody. Literally. So don't be just getting with anybody. Especially people that never travel, don't got their passport, but you want to travel. Somebody is dating people that don't have the same interest. Like, are you dating them because they look good, whether it's a man or a woman? Because if you're a man, you probably dating women that just look pretty. If you're a woman, you're dating someone that look good, but they don't got no brains. They don't got no credentials you know they're not giving the air like they want to travel and, and like spoil you you just not anybody you're so divine you need reinsurance and effort that money magic work someone is going to see how harmful their ex and family is is like with their words someone's going to win the lottery cash at me a dollar if you want to i'm very kind um, don't come looking for love. I don't know what Trey Song's zodiac sign is, but that could be the person that's trying to come back. Lord, this is supposed to be a like a healthy reading for Aries love, but uh, like I said, Aries, y'all been stressing me out for the last. Cause somebody belongs to the street and child, you deserve to be with someone with VVS cufflinks, okay? Silk line blazers. First class, private jets, diamond cream fa um, facials, like massages. I'm going to end this at 1915. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You got so much patience. New bae coming soon. Okay. He, she is a player. Okay. Even if it's someone you're currently dealing with. Okay. Someone needs to tone up, get to the gym, get that six pack. You maybe want a BBL or a lapatic. Uh, this i was gonna end it at 9 15 1915 you're a five-star chick invest into you i'm gonna end it here like comment subscribe i see y'all later aries thank you for stopping by and welcome back to my channel if you came back showing love hit that notification button i'm gonna keep doing this and i'm gonna keep showing y'all mad love bye